my dear friends in Jesus Christ, our today's gospel reflection is taken from the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verse 1 to 12. And the theme is, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. The gospel passage presents marriage according to the original plan of God. God, out of his love, created men and women. But why did he create both men and women? What was his purpose or aim? Through the sacrament of marriage, men and women becomes one. Truly, if the two love each other sincerely, love unites them to a certain extent where they cease to be two but one. Therefore, the emphasis of today's gospel reflection is that marriage cannot be dissolved. It must last until the death of one of the partners. According to the teachings of Jesus Christ, marriage has to be monogamous and chaste in order to protect the dignity of men and women and to make them holy and happy. The plan and the will of God is that all the married couples should taste and experience love, joy, and happiness in their marriage life. However, this is not always the case, since in our present time, we see many divorce, marriage crises, and even separation due to human selfish motives. If we can really and truly love God, who is the giver of the law, then it can be easy to obey and follow the precepts of God and the teachings of the church about married life. The word of God from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 4, verse 8, reminds us that, above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Thus, my dear brethren, true love always redeems. Even if many marriages are broken, facing different challenges, or perhaps asking for a divorce, the best solution is to turn to God, because in Him and in Him alone, everyone has the opportunity to meet Jesus Christ and experience His love, mercy, and goodness. In times of difficulties and challenges, married couples ought to seek divine help and consolation from God. For instance, they should learn to face the realities of life, such as learning to forgive each other repeatedly, praying with patience and perseverance in trials and hardships, because this will lead to their redemption and salvation. May God continue to bless, protect, strengthen, and unite all marriages so that we may have good Christian families and God-fearing Christians. Amen.